It's a Godwinson live news alert on the status of Ethan Ralph's former co-host. What will we learn? Let's get drunk for... Observe the Rand bot. Yeah, women succinctly. like her have always existed, but they're endemic now, and it is oh. part of our hypersexualized oh. culture. Where we do we do live in this thing where like um, more people are completely and utterly hy- hypersexualized and broken, like she is, and at the and at the other end of the extreme, more and more young people have never had sex in their life, or only one or two encounters. Oh. Rand. Which, which didn't lead to anything else. I might have to, yeah, I might have to catch it because I have to get through this. Yeah, go ahead. An Australian edge lord without a credible ideology. He uttered the fourteen words and rant about the Jays for countless hours on end. The assault against Christendom is completely unacceptable, and the only reason that it's come to this point, Rand, be careful. It's because we have Think tolerated about- them. We have tolerated these people. We've brought them. Into our countries, we brought them into our own hearts. But at the end of the day, it's all just stale poll memes being regurgitated by a petrol-sniffing alcoholic who's descended from Dickensian criminals. Anyway, Rand, believe it or not, has been co-host of Ethan Ralph's Killstream at a moment in its long history where it's at its lowest viewership. What an achievement. But you have to ask yourself, why does Ralph even keep Rand around? Is it because he can't get anyone else to co-host? Because it's a tricky position to fill. Ralph requires someone who is, first and foremost, loyal to a fault, as well as being easily exploited so that they will work for free. How have we been rewarded? How have have we been rewarded? By these fucking people! Rand. These fucking people! But Rand, he's a special individual, he really is. As anyone who's in the sphere will surely know. Rand spends his days doing 12 hour streams where he plays Doom and rants about how bad the Jays are for 15 people who watch him outside of the kill stream. 15 people who I can only imagine are bottom of the barrel, neat alcoholics, mere moments away from sunsetting themselves. But be in no doubt, you can be sure of Rand's opinions, because regardless of whether it is the Jays having a bad influence on current events, rest assured that all of Rand's takes are exactly what you'd find from a half-interested 20-minute browse of pop. You know, actually, everything everything in your behavior has actually been consistent with what I expect from Jewish people. You're a liar. You're a homo. You're a degenerate. But let's not forget that he's an esteemed co-host of the Kill Stream. And in that role, he makes sure that he constantly interrupts whatever guest is making an appearance at a particular time. He constantly rams down the viewers' throats, the cursory readings of his of the poll board, all the while being completely out of it, drunk, liquored up. In short, if you're Ethan Ralph, founder and proprietor of the Kill Stream, you're looking at Rand as a great big liability. What's the word? Like, I'm white, hard, right? But it's harder when you're stupid. No, you're Jewish. That this that is one of the most stupid memes that has refused to die, and only to the most obstinate and ignorant. You know, I've been yeah, doxxed, I, wonder, so my, I wonder my, why my, people. My, I wonder why people keep calling you Jewish. My my legal name. My legal it's name is. It's a real fucking Spanish. mystery. <laughs> anyway, a few moons ago, Randbot declared his undying love for his lord and master. Ralph. Ralph takes the heat. If I fuck up, I don't want Ralph to take heat. And okay, but why? Good. Is it because he's a good friend or something? I don't is, see that he's a good friend. Is that actually a serious question? Are you yeah, yes, it is. It? it is a serious question. Okay, someone who's been one of the most kind and generous people to me on the internet has really helped me out. How has Ralph been a friend to me? 
Ralph's been a friend of me. Well, I am here. You you know about me. Yeah. You know that I'm a I'm a co-host. I've been I've I've have been a co-host since March. Yeah, I, I, he's gone I out of his way to promote me. He went into bat for me. He got me my account back. Okay, on a, on but... a personal on a personal level, on on things that are private and will not be publicly discussed, he has been nothing but a mensch. A mensch, indeed. How these words will crucify him as we tell the story of last night's events. So just before last night's killstream, Rand had asked his lord and master, Sir Ethan of Ralph, whether he could perchance to dream and ask the upcoming guest, Jim Goad, a couple of questions. Now, as co-host, you'd expect this to be a reasonable request. Alas, as is the case with most of the kill streams, what ends up happening is Ralph treats Rand like a second-class citizen. Randbot, go ahead. You said you had some questions. Oh, does he have himself muted now? Oh, yeah, uh, I, 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 think I did. I just, remember. To, just to okay, make sure good. I wasn't good. in a That's good. That's good. Uh, Mr. I, Mr. Goad, I've, wait, I've, got, a, go, I've got a couple of questions. Let him go. Let him go. Go ahead. I've got a couple of questions for you. Reno Miles says, do you want a five-hour stream? Have Ralph... <laughs> have Rand ask one question. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, it was a good question. It's just a long and winding road there. Yeah, I, on, I noticed how I... I waste. I, I waited there, like dancing back and forth, and then eventually I'm like, you know, I'm I'm going to take a risk. I'm I'm going to try and take a sneaky pee, and I come back and I see, oh, the server mute's been removed. We did get taken on a magical journey about um, Matt Forney, so oh, I, I'm, yeah, I the magical that journey that I started, and I am following. Yeah, I know. I'm giving you a compliment. Let's Rand. take a magical journey through these fucking super chats. Rand has to publicly ask permission to talk and then in an exercise of pure dominance over another individual ralph puts rand on a hard mute rand is forced to sit there stewing unable to ask jim goad of all people two measly questions so what does rand do in this situation he's unable to speak he's on a hard mute so Rand leaves and starts his own show during Ralph's time slot. None of them mm. knew anything about him. Not yeah. a single fucking one of them. Ralph didn't fucking know a thing. He turned up late. I fucking asked him, Hey, Jim Go, do you know anything about him? No. Bibble? No. Never heard of him. Fucking Flamenco? No. Well, I know about him. He wrote a magazine called Answer Me. He'd done a whole bunch of shit. Right. He had a brain tumor that was removed. That, that's why he doesn't have any hair anymore. He's got a whole bunch of shit going on. I've got a whole bunch of questions about him. I'm very excited to speak to Jim Goad. How dare he? How dare he defile and disgrace my time slot? Fuck Australia. I don't even like Mad Max anyway. And so, Ethan Ralph... King God High sat upon his throne made of empty Maker's Mark bottles and mundane Matt's tears. Ethan Ralph strikes a furious anger upon Rand and declares that Rand is dismissed from the kill stream. It's not a certain Australian spurging out on his channel right now saying the N-word. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying nothing. It's not him, is I'm it? Not. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not. It's trying not to him who nothing. who acts like a bitch. Honestly, if you want to know the, if you want to know the full truth about it, acts like a woman who goes off to cry on his own stream after showing up completely sloppy drunk again, barely able to even go on the air. He has the nerve to start a stream during my stream talking shit. What a fucking piece of garbage! I will tell you that right now, and I'll also tell you Rand is dismissed from the kill stream. So. That'll be my public announcement on Randbot. So Rand is fired. He's handed his chips. His cards have been laid out on the table in front of him. Well, this didn't go down well with Rand. Then his wife walks in and tries to get him to calm down. And how did I get fucking treated? Shut up! I don't care. Get out. Fuck off! Shut the fucking door! SHUT UP! 
Anyway, Rand gets banned from D-Life. What a surprise, right? He blames Ralph, his former master, for all of this, perhaps alluding to a power of influence that Ralph has over the administrators of the D-Live website. So Rand is banned. Ralph and him get into a very public spat where Ralph brings up a clandestine recording of Rand weeping over his own angel baby. Surely bridges are burnt at this point. Someone with whom you've been loyal to a fault has just publicly brought up your wife's miscarriage in order to get a one-up on you. Surely he is no longer a mensch. Surely. Well, brace yourself, chaps, because, and this is hot off the presses, like a housewife who's been abused for decades but keeps going back to their husband, Rand decides to go running back to the Godfather, definitively proving once and for all that he's entirely spineless and values being on the totem pole of e-celebrity more than having any self-respect or dignity. The story of Randbot, ladies and gentlemen. I am somewhat trepidatious about doing a show with someone who may at any time display his anus. 